Hi there guys and welcome to another video. This time it's a sort of unboxing and mini review of this digital multimeter made by or badged Splink Tech, I think you would probably pronounce that. Um, obviously a Chinese um, eBay special. The reason I decided to purchase this was that I have a number of multimeters, probably three or four of this type. Again, quite a sort of cheap, but quite nice. Does the job um, quite well. Uh, I've got a couple of grey ones and a yellow one. And on one of them, the after mending the uh, probe lead about three or four times, uh, it really gave up the ghost. And I thought, I looked at the price of the cheapest pair of probe leads that I could find on eBay, and they were something like two ninety nine with shipping. Uh, it gets to the point where it's not worth their while to um, sell things beyond the lower certain point, like two quid, I guess, with shipping. So I think the cheapest I could find was something like two ninety nine for a pair of these, and uh, for I think seven pounds or seven ninety nine ish, um, this was on on eBay. So I thought might as well go for it for two other reasons. One is that it's got a I don't think it's shown there on the on the list of um, the information, but it's got a blue backlit screen which I thought might be quite handy crawling under a car or you know doing something somewhere in a shed or a garage or something uh, away from my my work desk uh, but the other um, notable point which the others don't have is on the, uh, the diode setting or the continuity setting uh, the this new one has a bleeper so those are two plus points so let's take it out. This is not in any way a scientific um, proper review of how multimeters work or the ins and outs or you know in-depth stuff that you would get with the likes of BigClive.com who uh, would tell you about uh, every single setting uh, in proper detail. Uh, I use multimeters largely for testing continuity and ACE and uh, DC voltage for computer projects and uh, other projects that I work on and uh, build. So generally speaking, it's going to be set to 20 volts DC or it's going to be set to the continuity. Uh, occasionally I'm testing current, so I might go to the uh, current setting. Now, like the these type of multimeters, I think probably the guts are probably the same with both of these. Um, you've got two, you've got a common um, ground which is in the middle on this one and in the bottom on this one and you've got a uh, low and high ampage um, port for the probe to go in depending on uh, whether you're measuring 10 amps current or, or a lot lower than that. So let's get the probes out. Build quality is pleasingly, surprisingly good, I would say, for something that costs seven quid. It's got a, um, a rubber surround, which is really actually quite good considering the price. It's, uh, it's also got a stand, so you can stand it up. That's a bit flimsy, but in general, for something that costs, you know, not much more than sort of seven quid or so, um, I'm really quite uh, quite pleased with, with that. If you uh, want the backlight, there's a button there, which as you can see, it's probably uh, bleaching out a little bit there, but that actually looks really on in, uh, in normal life. Uh, that looks just pleasantly sort of blue, really. Um, and obviously you've got all the settings for the DC voltages uh, around to ohms around here, so resistance setting, 
the uh, the uh, bleeping continuity one, and then your amp, your current settings around here, and then you've got the high voltage uh, AC up at the top there, and back to uh, back to off. So let's just stick the probes in. So we'll be using the middle one and the uh, right hand side because we're not testing high current. You can probably see on there that says uh, 10 amps if that'll focus. And we'll just take it around to here and really just to show you the two features of this that uh, don't appear on the other multimeter to the right and that is the bleep function. So you can probably hear that bleeping. And as I say, the backlight there. So this is, as I say, this is not supposed to be an in-depth technical analysis of multimeters or how good this one is in terms of performance. It's the build quality and whether it actually does the job for basic fault finding, which is uh, what a lot of people will be buying this for. And as far as I'm concerned, it ticks all the boxes and a very good price. Uh, so the set of leads on their own would have cost me two ninety nine. So really, for five quid more, um, I get a, a multimeter with the backlight on and the continuity. So there it is, guys. I hope that is of use to someone out there and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.